Hey there, y'all. Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie unboxing. Today, we have the Barbie Dream Closet. Now, we've unboxed Barbie closets before, but this is more playset than closet. And I picked it up on clearance at my local Ross, and I think I only paid... Let's see where the sticker is. Yes, $30. Normally, this goes for about $45, but I picked it up for $30. It was an okay price, and I figured I would get it because I don't have it. And I like the, the concept behind these. And the fact that it comes with other like accessories is fun for me. So let's get this out of the box because unfortunately they covered up our UPC. I don't think there's one on the back of the box. So we're gonna have to get that. A little preview of some of the things that are in there. Let's see. We've got tape and we've got the box like sealed like we normally have with boxes. Is an exclusive doll that's included in this, if I remember correctly. She's like a basic Millie, but it's fine. Let's see if we can get this all out in one go. Okay. Right. What's in the box? It's all self contained. We love that when that happens. Okay. Let's see. Got to take off some of this other cardboard that's included for some weird reason. And then we can see the front of it. So the front of it does have some design, some regular cardboard in there. You could probably pretty easily swap this out for just like transparent plastic from like, uh, honestly, from Barbie boxes and things like that. Take that last bit of cardboard off the front, and let's see what happens. What do you think? Which way do we think it opens? Do we think it opens like this? There we go, like that. Okay, and now we've got a lot of things that are coming out at us. Okay, so my idea to transform that with transparent plastic is not really going to work because there's a shelf on the inside of this. But that's okay. We'll look at that more in a minute. We do have our doll that's in there. Here she is. She looks kind of cute. Let's see, let's get her out. And she's wearing shoes and everything. So here she is. This is like an exclusive dress, which is fun. We got that all the way off. Yep. Okay. Very cute. No, no um, Velcro. So very cute. Just a middle part Millie. Here are her shoes. These are actually designed for the tall and curvy. So an extra pair of tall and curvy shoes, which is good. We'll set her off to the side right there. Here's our laundry basket. We don't get a ton of these. There's actually a little pattern in there of hearts, if you guys can see that. Only on two sides. And it goes right back in there. We've got a bag full of other stuff and a bag full of hangers and then a couple of other extra accessories. So I'm gonna open the hangers first because I think that'll be easier. So let's see. So, bum bum bum. We get, let's tilt these down. We get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten of these hangers. I have a little Barbie head on both sides. And then we can just hook them right on to that little bar that's up there. Right there, just for the fun of it. This is a pretty good, like, playset. And there's actually little, like, hooks right there that you could also hang stuff on if you felt the need to. But we are going to just kind of get these up, I think, for now. Now, it's very cool on the back side of this, but it does have an additional feature that we're going to look at here in a bit. But we do also get a Barbie stand, which is very cool. Now, this is a stand that just clips on to her legs, like this, to hold her in, just like that. It's very fun. I always love when we get stands like this. And it slides in to the base of that to hold her in place for travel, which is kind of fun. I love that for them. So let's take a look at what else is in our first bag. Because we're gonna get these bags out of the way before we start looking at the individual features of this place up. Just because that's what I wanna do. And I'm the one to run. <laughs> uh, so we have a Barbie lifeguard um, tank top. There's no Velcro, so this is just a stretch one. Got a decent amount of stretch to it. So we can take that and put it on the hanger and put it back on the rod. And we've got a very pretty Barbie necklace. We don't usually get this mold a lot, so I love seeing that mold. We've got some Barbie sunglasses. We do see this mold pretty frequently, and they're not transparent, but but they are a pearl gold, which I do like. We see this one more often in like the winter sets, but it's a fun like dripping and diamonds kind of look. So that's not a bad one. We've got a whistle for our lifeguard, of course. Always important to have your whistle on hand. And we've got a little um, bracelet. We see this bracelet mold a lot. So let's see what other outfit pieces we have. All right. Now, this is more career-based, surprisingly. Um, I know when I was looking at the package, I was like, oh, it seems like there's a lot of just like random career stuff in there. And I mean, there is. So we've got a laptop, always fun. We like that with the Barbie background. It's got the Barbie head on there. We can set that on one of our shelves. We have got a Barbie like script pad for when Barbie wants to push pills. Um, and then we've got some cute yellow sneakers. These are with the B, so these will actually fit her better than those shoes. We've got a visor for her lifeguard look. Always fun. And then we have got some scrubs. Now these actually do have Velcro, so you won't have to worry about that quite so much, stretching them over. And pretty decent quality pants. It feels like actual scrub pants, which is not super high quality, but you know, FYI. Um, I don't think you'd be able to actually put these on a hanger so I think you're more supposed to like fold them like that than like put them on one of these shelves over there. I don't know. Um, Cause they don't have like pant hanger ones. And then we can take this and put it on our, one of our hangers. Just like that, very cute. I feel like they may have made too many career Barbies or like printed too many things, expecting to have to, you know, release more. And then they didn't need to, because they didn't sell for shit. 
Um, these are really cute, like, shorts for her lifeguard look. I love that. But again, we run into that problem of not actually having any way to hang those. And we've got a very cute dress. Always fun to have these. They do a little bit of sparkle pretty well. I, I was hoping that it was actually going to be continued the whole way around and not just shiny on the front. Uh, we've got a pair of pink clogs for her nurse's outfit, because those are good for being on your feet all day. A pair of shiny flats to go with her heels, again with the B. So the only one that got the big feet shoes are going to be the orange ones that we got. And we've also got a little... Um, <sighs> it's not a stethoscope. Uh, reflex checker? I can't remember what it's called. I know in my brain that's in there somewhere. So that's everything that comes in the bags. Which is great. Because now we have this place up. So, it has another option to pull that out and pull all of this up. And then under there, whoop, I'm sorry, we've got even more things to play with up there. So we show off more of our background. I think I have like all of these outfits in the back actually. Um, but it's very cute and you can actually see the shoes that are supposed to be down there now. And it's very cute. And it's got a little bit of like a hidden play feature that is the laundry chute, which you're supposed to put it up here and then it falls into the bucket. So it happened a little fast. Let me show you guys. Okay, red in and red out. Kind of fun. I don't know what it's for, but it's fun. Um, and then you have that uh, like hidden outfit area at the top, which is kind of random. But, you know, when Barbie needs a quick change, I guess. And then we just put it back up and we just, let's see. And you pull that out and you just kind of shove it back down. And then it gets popped and gets held in in place with this little um, pressure relief thing. Now we also get a chair. Kind of cool that we get a chair. I do kind of wish the chair also slid in to like over here to get secured in this side. I wish that worked, but it's okay. I'll take it like it does. Now we do also have one of these little holders for like drinks and things like that. I'm looking around seeing if I had anything that I had out that I could put on there. I don't think I have anything out right this minute. Um, but our chair goes in there and it works. So it's kind of cool. I like the addition of this little stand. I feel like that makes it a little more like enticing kind of thing because you can put the stand in there and then kind of I think you can close her in there with that. Let's see. See how well this works. So yeah, and she can be closed in there and just carried away like that. But you're also like displaying your doll. Here's what the back of that looks like. And most of these are all real Barbie clothes, which is kind of great. I've never seen these shoes before though, those rollerblades. Um, but other than that, I think I've seen all of these outfits in real life and all of these accessories. But it's kind of random. It is fun in a way that's kind of uniquely Barbie. 
to be able to have this like dream closet. I do kind of wish there was an interior floor that folded down to make this like a static like square kind of thing just to make it like a full place up but it's very cool like I like the addition of the trash chute it's a little weird that because you can't use it oh well actually hold on let's see if you can use it well it's not pulled up so no no you can't oh well let's see I gotta pull that back up now. So no, you can only use the trash chute when the top part is pulled up, uh, which is a little sad, but it's okay. Um, there's also a little stand slide thing up here, kinda random. to where she can stand up at the top of the dream closet, which is kind of cool. Like, it's a weird thing to add, I think, but I do appreciate that there's, like, three different spots that you can actually, like, stick her. Like, you can stick her in front of the mirror, because she's Barbie. I don't know. There she is, staring back at us like a creeper. Or you can stick her out in the front... But, you know, it's very cool. It's just one of those things that's kind of superfluous. I wish they would take the initiative and start designing the dream houses to be, like, expanding if you buy the other sets. Like, a really cool way to do a dream closet would be if it connected to a dream house. You know, like if there was a doorway that like snapped in over here and connected it, even if it was still designed to be like a go and play kind of thing, it'd be a way to, to one, encourage people to buy it, and two, encourage people to buy the dream house, knowing that they can add on to the dream house in a way that it's designed for. Because we've seen that be successful in kind of like other doll brands and things, but I actually really like the stand. So, she's very cute. She is a standard Millie. So, I guess we've looked at all of the play features of this. Like, really, other than this pull-up part, which is just more shelves that you can actually still keep on there. There's a little lip on there to keep things in place, but I don't know how well things are going to survive being pulled up like that but it's still cool so we get a lot of like career accessories and career outfits because we get the the nurse outfit or doctor outfit um and then we get the lifeguard outfit and then we get the casual wear and the evening wear so kind of cool but also i kind of wish we'd gotten like four like three day wear looks and an evening wear look instead of career stuff. But that's just because careers are so often in fashion packs. So very cool. I love the addition of the stand. I didn't expect it to be in there. I didn't expect to like that aspect of it so much. I like the trash bin or the uh, laundry bin. I like the addition of the laundry chute. I wish it was accessible without the playset being fully pulled up. I think that'd be awesome. Um, I don't really know the point of this little, like, runway thing that extends over it. Once you have that, like, secret outfit storage. Like, honestly, if I had a Barbie as Batwoman or Batgirl, that's where I would put her Batsuit, just to, just to be snarky. Um, and I don't think you can actually open that when it's down. So you have to pull that up to open it. I do like the addition of this little, um, 
like desk area. It's very cute, but it om it's much more of like a playset. Like this feels like a part of the dream house, which is great in that in that respect, except for the fact that it doesn't connect to a dream house. So while it is a closet, it's really doesn't have that much room for clothes. <laughs> oh, sorry. I had to sneeze. Hopefully that wasn't too loud. Um, sorry about that, guys. Oh, allergies are driving me crazy down in South Texas. Um, but the, the closet is really good, but I kind of wish there was more areas to hang things because we've only got the one rack and then a couple of knobs over here and two more up there in the hidden part. And there's shelves over here. Like if we wanted to put shoes over here, I think we could maybe if I wasn't so clumsy. Um, but like you have to put them sideways because they're not wide enough to fit lengthways. So I think they're more designed for like accessories or purses. But that's kind of like we didn't get a purse in this set. I'm kind of surprised. There's like pictures of purses, but we didn't even get any of the brick purses, which is kind of funny. We got the sunglasses, but we did not get uh, we did not get a purse in this closet, which I'm okay with because most of the time when they're giving us purses now, they're giving us the the like watermelon bricks and like the little clutch bricks instead of like the bigger bags, but kind of cute. It does have room to expand to put in your own fashions, which is nice, uh, but I don't know. I, I like this set. I don't know if it's worth its original retail price, which is like close to $50. It may be 55, the original retail price. Um, but it's very cool. Like, it feels like a room, which is great. I kind of wish they would start making these a little bit taller, though. Because they make them just barely, like, like 12 and a half inches tall. So if you're trying to frame them in the shot, it's pretty hard to, like, get the top of her head and not also get beyond the playset unless you're doing an overhead shot, but it's very cool. I wish they would start doing things on like a 14 inch scale as far as the play sets, but they're still very cool. So if you guys have questions about this, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed it, leave me a like, and as always, follow along for some more fun unboxings. Bye y'all, be good.